everyone. I hope you're all well. We are on our way to the NEC to the caravan, camping and motorhome show. Um, obviously we've bought our new caravan which we are waiting um, to collect in the next couple of weeks. Um, so we won't be buying a new caravan but there are a few accessories that we're looking to buy. Um, so we're going to have a look and see if then anyone's got any good deals. It's um, approximately 28 days until our seasonal pitch opens, so we're really excited. So, you know I love a bargain, so we're going to see if any of the dealers have anything um, worth buying, which obviously we'll show on our page later on. We can have a look around the Isabella awnings. We would have liked to have bought a new Isabella with our new van, but unfortunately, no funds at the moment so we've sent our existing um, awning to be to have the roof increase so it will fit and then maybe next year we can have a look so this is the Isabella Dawn or North we can't figure out which one it's a three meter deep like we have at the moment but it's got this really good separation panel which I think would work really well as we use ours for eating um, we also have the sofa in the sleeping area which we probably won't do as much with the um, the new van as we've got the fixed bed but I do like the division that we can have separate areas I'm after um, an Isabella dining table so that is on the wish list so I'll have a look around today to see how much they're going for but this one's really nice I also like the Isabella light in to give it a bit more elegance in there. Just going to show you around the Isabella Penta Etna. This is one of my dream awnings. I believe they retail about four to four thousand, four to four and a half thousand, but loads of space and I love the way the roof comes out at the front. So this is three meter deep but it has the extra at the front so possibly takes you up to about four meters but as I said loads of space as a family and a contender for later in the year so the Pentas all have a mega frame so the pool, poles are extra thick and uh, really sturdy every awning that we've have has always been an Isabella and uh, so we can't really compare to anything else but they've always been really really good for us we're sighted in a very windy spot with our seasonal pitch never touch wood had any wind damage which shows the the strength of the construction We bought last year some Isabella windscreens to go round our pitch just to give us a bit more privacy. One thing I would like to add to our collection is the, the gate. Really easy to open. So another thing added to the wish list. If you are thinking of coming to the show and it is um, not just for adults, it's for kids as well. Kids come free, but you still need a ticket. There's loads for the kids to do. We found the carousel and the Helter Skelter so far. I believe there's a sand pit and uh, kayaking that the children can go on. So we're now on the, uh, the Bailey stand. This is the Alicanto Grande Evora. This was one of the um, caravans that was a runner up before our purchase of the Cartagena. Really lovely plush caravan inside. Unfortunately, they didn't have any ready 
for build until June and with us being on a seasonal pitch just didn't meet our time frames but really lovely caravan this one's got a king size bed that's it there in night mode really lovely caravan We're now on to the trailer tents. I can't believe how these have changed since we've started our time in a caravan. This is like um, an awning that you attach to the front of the trailer with eating area for family. And then two huge double beds in the actual trailer itself. This collapsed water carrier is brilliant if you tour in the winter. It holds 20 litres of water and if you're limited on storage or weight it falls down just a tiny size. You can also use a hose at the front to attach it to a second one so if you've got a big family or like me you like to have a shower and wash your hair then you can attach a hose and as soon as one carrier is empty it will automatically feed from the other. The lid is watertight and I believe they're available from July. Um, if you buy at the show they're normally $89.99 but the show are doing a price for $59.99 which I think is really good. So great for people when you're on a site without um, running water, not on an all service pitch. Just discovered these tiny little caravans called Go Pods. It says even small cars can tow them as it weighs under 750 kilograms. Have a quick look inside. We've got a cute little kitchen, little sofa area that turns into a bed, little storage cupboard and a fridge. And a teardrop over here. Again, 750 kilos, so easy to pull with a smaller car. Inside, it folds down to a quite a big bed actually, and storage and a TV up there. So we're back at the car now after a very long day of walking around the NEC. We've walked four and a half miles, um, so I'm glad for a sit down and to rest my feet. We actually didn't buy anything. Um, the things we were looking for, we couldn't find. Um, no Cartagena, so we weren't able to look around one. Um, so we'll have to wait now until we get our own. Bit disappointed with the food. So anyone that's come in, I would suggest making some sandwiches. Uh, unless you just like Cornish pasties and vegan sandwiches. So yeah, loads of toilets, really good. Um, I'm still walking on a crutch, so today was quite good. It didn't feel too crowded. I've been told that there's 40,000 coming Saturday. Not sure about Sunday. Um, the NEC is very warm. I've literally just worn a t-shirt um, and still been really uh, hot and sweaty. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed watching the video uh, please help us out by liking the video and subscribing you'll then get notifications for any future videos we post and I will be popping on um, a video um, with us clearing out our Cadiz in the next week or so. So for anyone looking to buy a Cadiz, um, I'll, I'll give a quick tour of, a tour of the van before we uh, send it back off to the dealer. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.